Amazon QuickSight makes it very easy to visualize and explore your data in a matter of seconds. In this video, let's take a look at the options to customize your visuals. First, let's look at the visual presentation options. In the field list, you will find that numeric fields can be formatted. Choosing one of these options enables the default formatting for the chosen option. And the changes are also reflected on the visual. You also have the option of further customizing this using the more formatting options in the menu. An easy way to perform this formatting is also through the on-screen controls on a visual. In addition to data formatting, these controls allow you to change the aggregation on data as well as the data field. In this case, let's change the data aggregation to months instead of year. You will notice that a scroll bar now appears. This scroll allows you to browse through the data and zoom in or out of sections of data that are of interest. Finally, let's take a look at the visual level formatting options. Through the visual menu, you have the ability to control title display, placement of the legend, and also specify custom axes limits. Through the on-screen controls, you can pick specific colors for your data on screen, with the option to change the overall color of the graph, or to change this at a per data point granularity. Now let's take a look at customizing the data and visual itself. To do this, we will use the field wells, which are available above the visual. In the field wells, each of the fields has the same configuration options we saw in the on-screen controls. To change a field in the graph, you have the option of dragging and dropping a field into the field well, or simply choosing the field controls within the well to do this. The field wells also allow you to create drill downs within your data simply by stacking the fields in your drill down within the well. Once you do this, you will notice that the on-screen control now includes the new drill down path. Dates implicitly support drill down, so you will find that date fields have this option enabled at all times. Now when we modify the visual using the field wells, you will notice that QuickSight moves out of autograph mode due to the manual controls being applied. Through the list of visual options here, you can modify the graph to the visual type that you would like to work with. To go back to order graph mode, at any point, simply click the order graph icon. Now let's take a look at filters in QuickSight. To start with, let's add a new visual that looks at revenue by customer region for this dataset. Now, if we wanted this to be limited to revenue for 2016 and beyond, you could do that by adding a filter on the date field. Once you have a filter in place, it's also very easy to apply it to some or all of the visuals in the dataset. Finally, let's create a dashboard from this data. You can simply click on the existing auto-generated titles to edit the text to your choosing. The visuals can be resized by grabbing the bottom right-hand corner at any point, and the handles on top of each visual make it easy to rearrange them. To complete our dashboard, let's add one more visual to this analysis. Notice that this visual now already includes the filter that we specified earlier. Let's resize the visual, and there you go. You have a great looking customized dashboard in QuickSight.